What's up guys, this is Kyle from SkySportsUSA.net and welcome to another episode of Quick and Dirty. Today's topic is covering how to pick a prop for your Vitarazzi Moster 185 Plus. Couple things we're going to cover. How do you determine your reduction? Is it 268 or 287? Which prop brand you should go with? Do you want lightweight? Do you want durable? What length prop bolts should I get? And do you need a prop spacer? All these topics are going to be covered. Please stick around. Now, we got to start right at the beginning. We have to find out what reduction you have. This is the first thing you need to know before you look at any of this stuff. Now, to determine your reduction on the My20 and the My22 models, there's a little bubble plaque on your exhaust bracket. Now, on that plaque, it's going to say 268 or 287. If that's the case, you've just learned your reduction, and then we move on to brand. But if you have an older motor, you got to check the back of your big pulley. Now on the back of the big pulley, there's either going to be a 130 or a 128 pressed in. Now 128 means 268 reduction, 130 means 287. All right, now that we've got that figured out, we get to move on to the three offerings that Viterazzi recommends for their motors. The first one being E-Props. E-Props is known for being lightweight and a super responsive prop. Helix is known for its durability and its thrust. This third offering is done by Viterazzi. It's a partnership with Helix. Now this is kind of like the best of both worlds. It's got more thrust than the E-Prop and it's more responsive than the Helix. It's a little bit more money, but people seem to really enjoy this prop. Now, if you want to learn more about this prop, visit SkySportsUSA.net, check out the Viterazzi Fast Acceleration Prop, and it will give you all the information about fuel consumption, thrust, and uh, where this prop just generally shines. Now that we've selected a brand of what we feel fits our flying style best, we need to figure out which prop bolts we need, and if we need a spacer or not for our frame. So let's go over prop bolts first. The Helix prop. That requires 50 mil prop bolts. That's part number M119. Now, if you want titanium, we're gonna go MF119. That is a 50 mil prop bolt. Now, if you go with Helix, you're also gonna need a prop spacer. So we have them in all different colors. This was part number M120. So Helix requires a 10 mil prop spacer and 50 millimeter prop bolts. Now the fast acceleration prop and the E-prop do not require a prop spacer. They use 60 mil prop bolts, both of them. So that is part number M119C. Or if you like titanium, which we were talking about up here with the Helix, that is MF119C. So we've covered reduction prop brands, prop bolts, and prop spacer. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to reach out with any questions. We're always happy to take a call. Shoot us an email, info at skysportsusa.net. Hit us up on any of our social media messengers. We're here for you.